Hello learners, let's tackle question 1, KCC 2023, paper 2. The question says, give the formula and the name of the compound formed when aluminum and sulfur reacts. This is from two chemical formulas. Aluminum reacts with sulfur to form aluminum sulfide. Aluminum is in valency 3, that goes to sulfur. Sulfur has valency 2. The valency moves to aluminium. The name is aluminium sulfide. Aluminium sulfide. A study in form one. Naming of the compounds from aluminium sulfide. The name is ending with DE, meaning it is comprised of two elements. Explain the variation in the atomic radius of the elements across the period. In form two, that is trade across period three, where it is studied that. The atomic radius tries to decrease across the period. Atomic radius decreases across the period due to increase in the nuclear attraction. Hence, hence the outer most electrons are strongly attracted. Are strongly attracted. Select the element with the highest ionization energy and give a reason. That those are the noble gases which have the highest ionization energy since they are stable. And so we select the element which has a stable or an octate electron configuration and it is argon. Argon. The reason is it have a stable electron configuration or arrangement. Hence, losing an electron requires much energy. Write the electron arrangement of phosphorus in phosphorus trichloride. First, the arrangement of phosphorus before it reacts with the chlorine it was 285. But in this formula, the chlorine donates three electrons, which add up to the initial configuration of the phosphorus. Hence, the arrangement becomes two. Eight, eight. Select an element that forms an ion with the smallest ionic radius and give a reason. Ionic radius is the ion radius, the radius from the center of the atom. Sorry, it is the radius from the center of the ion to the outermost energy level occupied by the electrons. In this case, we are looking on the metals. The metals are the one which lose electrons to form a smaller ionic radius and in our case the element which will lose main electrons it is aluminium it loses three electrons hence the remaining are Strongly attracted by the positive nucleus, are strongly attracted by the positive nucleus. Next is a table of two of some elements, and you are taught to explain in terms of structure and bonding the difference in melting point of sodium and magnesium first this is a trend ag again across a period sodium magnesium magnesium first have a shorter ion atomic radius compared to sodium so it means the bonds are stronger in magnesium as compared to sodium so in this case magnesium will have magnesium have a stronger metallic bond that 
than sodium. Hence, having higher melting points. The structure is a metallic structure, and the bonds are metallic bonds. Next is chlorine and argon. This is answered by referring to their existence. Chlorine exists as a diatomic, argon as a monatomic gas. Diatomic gas have more valence, sorry, they have more van der forces compared to monatomic gases. Chlorine is a diatomic gas. While argon is a monatomic gas. Hence, chlorine half a higher melting point due to X more van der Waal forces. And our forces and that is the end of question one this is 2023